Well, these two may look like the couple next door, but deputies say they're selling meth and they're members of a street gang called Ghostface Gangsters. Well, tonight they're on the run and deputies are trying to track them down. Investigators tell Fox 5's Doug Evans their search for this couple is part of the larger effort of cracking down on gang activity. A Spalding County SWAT team raided this house on Patterson Road looking for 41-year-old Joseph Wayne Martin and 36-year-old Mary Michelle Farmer, both wanted for allegedly selling methamphetamines. Uh, inside the room where Mr. Martin and uh, Ms. Farmer were staying, there was methamphetamine, um, different types of schedule drugs, uh, drug-related objects ranging from pipes and uh, used syringes. If, I'm not, if I recall correctly, I do believe one of the uh, syringes actually had liquid methamphetamine inside of it ready for use. Inside the home, investigators say they also found evidence of Joseph Wayne Martin's and Mary Michelle Farmer's allegiance to the ghost face gangsters. They say this Bible belonged to Farmer, has his name on it, and in the back he has allegedly written extensively about his knowledge and involvement in the ghost face gangsters. Um, he actually received the Bible while he was in the, uh, in the prison system. Um, and he actually wrote the uh, creed or the Gangster Disciples Bible that showed his loyalty and his dedication and his knowledge of the gang itself. This was the second big drug bust in a week here in Spalding County, where investigators filed charges against these five people after another SWAT raid at this house on Catherine Drive. But investigators say evidence points to only Martin and Farmer as being members of a street gang, with other gang writings and even a red bandana found in the room they shared. The couple is still on the run and sheriff's investigators say they have good information on their whereabouts. The sheriff's office is sending a strong message about gang activity and the work of the sheriff's CAGE unit, which stands for Criminal Apprehension and Gang Enforcement. Here in Spalding County, we take gang activity serious, and we will use every resource to hunt you down. In Spalding County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.